What up nerds? This video is going to be covering how we can share animations between skeletons in Unreal 5. This is not the same thing as retargeting as we're not going to be creating whole new assets. Now Unreal 5 brings us a new retargeting workflow that allows us to retarget animations from any skeleton to any other skeleton. Now this does come with a higher setup cost as well as increased complexity. If you're not too familiar with the new workflow, uh, I'll go ahead and show that off here real quick. I'm not going in depth on it. I'm just here to show it off. If you want to, if you want any more information about it, there are other videos out there that cover it. So right here, all I have is the default third person template and I've added the animation starter pack. That's the only difference. All right. So the way the new workflow goes is you create this asset called the IK rig and you set this up. All right. Now, then once you have this IK rig set up, you create an IK retargeter asset and you give it the source IK rig as well as the target IK rig. So the source is where all the animations are and the target is where you want to retarget to. Now, as you can see, I just have one animation that I can retarget. Now, this proves problematic because you have to pay that setup cost every time you use a new animation asset pack from the marketplace. Typically speaking, animation asset packs will come with their own version of the Unreal 4 skeleton, and in the future, it'll be the Unreal 5 skeleton, possibly. And Unreal doesn't have a way in Unreal 5 to retarget the animations in a speedy way. You would have to go through that entire setup process each time. In Unreal 4, the animation retargeting was a fairly quick process. However, we have something better in Unreal 5. We have what's called compatible skeletons. So in Unreal 5, you tell the engine, hey, this skeleton is compatible with that skeleton. Let me use its animations. All right. And in order to set that up, it, you go to your skeleton editor. You go to window, asset details, go to compatible skeletons, add the element, uh, and then just add the skeleton that your skeleton that you're currently in is compatible with. Then uh, you will have access to its animations. Click save, and here you go. You have all you have access to all the animations. No retargeting required. Now this is a more simple way of doing things. Uh, the bone names should be identical, as well as you know typical translation limitations apply. So kind of treat it as the same thing as the Unreal 4 style of retargeting, even though it's not exactly retargeting, you're just sharing the animation asset. Now, a great thing about this is you now can use the retargeter that Epic gives you in the template to retarget all of these animations to the new uh, mannequin. So here we go. We're just going to retarget a couple of them. And here you go. Now, there are some additional configurations that you can do. If you're back in the actual skeleton editor, you click on this cogwheel and then you can click on the show retargeting options to change some of the options that uh, you use. I hope this helps you out. See you, nerds.